For many years, Japan has been at the forefront of robotics technology, astounded the world with its robotic ingenuity. Japan is home to seven of the world's top 10 industrial robotics firms. Furthermore, it boasts the world's largest density of robot employees. The market for service robotics, particularly senior care, is growing. The country is a technological powerhouse in areas such as machine vision, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. These technologies are critical for the creation of functional robotic hardware. There is little doubt that Japan is the industry leader in industrial robotics, since it is the largest exporter of robots in terms of shipments and operational units. The country also serves as a proving ground for innovative robotics applications. Furthermore, Japan is a global leader in the startup and tech environment. As a result, investments have been flowing into the nation smoothly. Today, we have created a list of some robots created by Japan. First on our list is the Kodomoroid TV presenter. The girl-woman hybrid, named after the Japanese word for kid, Komoto, was built in Japan and can perform a variety of simple activities, like reading the news and teaching scientific issues. She has the ability to talk in a variety of tones and languages, including a male voice, and motors in her body cause her face to move convincingly when she speaks. She currently works at Tokyo's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, where you may ask her for directions or the weather. Next on our list is a Simo. A Simo is a humanoid robot created by Honda in Japan in 2000. Honda began developing humanoid robots in 1986 and debuted its first masterpiece in 1993. Later, on October 31, 2000, the business unveiled a Simo, its first humanoid. The abbreviation ASIMO stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. The name Aldo was selected in honor of Isaac Asimov. The robot is currently on exhibit at the Miraikan Museum in Tokyo, Japan. The robot is 130 centimeters tall and 54 kilograms in weight. It has a 51.8 volt lithium battery with a one hour backup. A stacked die, a CPU, a single converter, and a memory cell are also included. A SEMO is a robot that can detect moving objects, postures, gestures, noises, faces, and surroundings. It can also tell the difference between faces and sounds. It is intended to aid and assist the people. It has the ability to run, dance, hop, and play soccer. A SEMO is a robotic ambassador who has made multiple public engagements to enthuse humans and robotics. Honda worked extensively on the robot after 2000. But in 2018, the firm announced that it will continue further research on the technology in order to maximize the robot's lifespan. Now, let's talk about Kirobo, also known as Robi, the first astronaut robot. Kirobo is the first humanoid astronaut robot created by Dentsu, the University of Tokyo, Robo Garage, Toyota, and JAXA, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, to accompany Koichi Wakata, the first Japanese commander of the International Space Station. Voice and speech recognition, natural language processing, speech synthesis, and telecommunications are among the capabilities of the robot, as are facial recognition and video recording. Kirobo is particularly created for zero-gravity situations and will aid Commander Wakata in a variety of studies. Next, we will talk about HRP-4C, Meme. The HRP-4C, often known as Meme, is a feminine-looking humanoid robot developed by Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, AIST. Meme stands 158 centimeters tall and weighs 43 kilograms with a power pack. She features a realistic head and face, as well as the unique physique of a typical young Japanese female, based on the Japanese Body Dimension database from 1997 to 1998. She can move like a person thanks to 30 body motors and an additional 8 for face gestures. Meme can also recognize environmental sounds and respond to voice using speech recognition software. Meme can also sing thanks to the Vocalide vocal synthesizer. Actroid is our next robot. Actroid is a humanoid robot with a high visual human resemblance created by Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company Limited. It was initially shown at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan in 2003. Since then, several other variants of the product have been manufactured. In most cases, the robot's look is fashioned like a typical young Japanese lady. The Actroid Lady is a pioneer example of a genuine machine that is akin to imagined machines known as androids or gynoids, which had previously only been used for fictitious robots. It can imitate human activities like blinking, speaking, and breathing. The Rapley models are interactive robots that can detect, interpret speech, and reply using artificial intelligence. 
Next robot on our list is Nadine. Nadine, the only nice and sociable robot, a gynoid robot, is what it is. Nadine's bodily characteristics are based on Professor Nadia M. Thalman. Kokoro Japan founded it in 2013. It is supposed to be the successor of Hanson Robotics' robot Ava, which was produced in 2008. The Nadine software platform was created by the Institute for Media Innovation at Nanyang University in Singapore. Nadine has significant human-like characteristics, such as natural-looking skin and hair. It can answer many questions in different languages and can recall persons based on past conversations. The robot is quite sociable and can respond to the following inquiries. Its demeanor might shift depending on the discourse. With 27 degrees of flexibility, the robot can freely move its upper body and display a variety of facial expressions. It may recall specific information and events linked to each individual. Nadine was created utilizing cutting-edge robotics. To collect inputs, it is outfitted with 3D depth cameras, a microphone, and a webcam. The robot is intended to serve as a receptionist or personal coach. It may assist people with special needs by reading books for them, sending emails, and participating in Skype conversations. Now let's talk about Erika. Erika, another Japanese robot. Erika has been renamed Irato Intelligence Conversational Android. Hiroshi Ishiguro, head of Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, invented it. This woman robot stands 166 centimeters tall. It is regarded as the world's most beautiful robot. Erika was created to be the world's most sophisticated and attractive humanoid. The robot, which was activated in 2015, has remarkable speech skills when compared to other robots throughout the world. Erika, unlike Sophia and Asimo, is unable to walk. It can, however, interact nicely with others. It may vary its face expressions depending on the discourse. When listening to others, it blinks its eyes and nods its head, just like humans. The robot's eyes are equipped with 15 infrared sensors. These sensors aid in the detection of any movement. It also has speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technologies built in. It has 44 degrees of mobility in its face, neck, and waist. The robot is currently employed as a newscaster. Next robot which we are going to talk about in this video is Junko Chihira. Junko Chihira is a Japanese gynoid robot created by Toshiba. It was created with the help of Hiroshi Ishiguro's technology. Junko the robot was introduced in October 2015. It is sometimes referred to as the trilingual android because of its capacity to communicate in three languages, Japanese, Chinese, and English. Aside from that, the robot can converse through sign language. It is an improved version of her younger sibling, Aiko Chihira. Junko, who has the visage of a 26-year-old woman, has an improved form of machine control. It offers strong interactive abilities, realistic emotions, and pre-written spoken instructions. The robot is outfitted with a variety of technologies, including speech synthesis and natural language processing. It can respond to visitors and residents' random and multiple-choice queries. Junko Chihira is a tour guide at the local tourist attraction, Aqua City, Odaiba, in Japan, while its other siblings work as receptionists and health nurses. Next, we will talk about Pepper. Pepper is the world's first social humanoid robot, capable of recognizing faces and comprehending basic human emotions. SoftBank Robotics created it and released it in 2014. Pepper can communicate with humans via dialogues and a touchpad on the chest. Messages are displayed on its chest touchscreen. It can also talk in 15 languages, including English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Arabic, and Dutch, and includes a speech recognition feature. Next, we are going to talk about THR3 Avatar Robot. Toyota's THR3 humanoid robot is the third generation. It is operated remotely by a master maneuvering system that controls the complete body of the robot, wearable equipment to control the robot's motions, and a head-mounted display that allows the operator to observe from the robot's perspective may be included in the master system. That is, it may, like a real-world avatar, mirror the gestures of its human operator. In the future, this humanoid robot will be able to perform surgery as human physicians supervise them from afar. Caregivers can also utilize these to collaborate with patients remotely. Avatar robots have the potential to revolutionize the way humans connect and work. This brings us to the end of our video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.